Some students in Bessemer are getting exposed to a new way of eating this summer. WVTM 13's Magdala Lusant joins us live from Charles F. Hart Elementary School. Magdala, it's not just about eating, it's also about growing. It's not, Sherry. In fact, just behind these gates here at Hart Elementary School are new raised garden beds where students are growing kale, uh, squash, and collard greens. Organizers say this is not just a chance for them to expand their palates, but also uh, expand their opportunities into uh, healthy lifestyles. Okay. It's a seed to plate initiative. We grow these in schools. We made pinwheels last week using the herbs and the vegetable from our garden. And so it allowed the children to see that I can grow my own food. Third grade teacher Karen Ward says her students aren't afraid to get their hands dirty to experience something new. I said, well, have anybody tried kale? It's like a lot of them said, no, I haven't tried kale. So we put kale in the garden and gave them an opportunity to taste kale when we harvest uh, a week ago. This summer camp is introducing 60 children in grades third, fourth, and fifth to gardening and healthy eating. We were able to give them some raised garden beds um, as a way to start getting the children excited. Tiffany Osborne is with UAB's Minority Health and Disparities Research Center. The program helps expose children who live in food deserts. This is a way to start those conversations to at least start offering healthy food options. Options now they can consider in their own backyards. Food does not just come from a grocery store, that you are, you can be responsible for what you eat. Another part of this program, students are also learning what exercises they can do at home. I'm also told parents can get involved. They've been coming here to learn about gardening. The summer camp ends this Friday. Live in Bessemer, I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.